Hello everyone, it's the Black Shadow here, and welcome to this uh, update video for the very end of May, beginning of June. It's slightly early, it doesn't matter too much. I hope you're all keeping reasonably well, however. Um, I'm not too bad of being considered. I've been in my uh, new home now for just coming up to three weeks, it has been since I've moved. Um, it must be said, those three weeks have gone rather quickly, all things considered, uh, and um, it's still taking some time to get used to being here. Um, you know, when you've lived somewhere for, you know, 26 years, basically, your whole life. Um, it takes some time to get adjusted, and uh, I I don't know how long it's going to take for that to sort of finish off. I sort of feel settled enough and that I've, I'm kind of, I suppose, mentally accepted that I am now here um, and that sort of thing, but it's still going to take some time before I still sort of feel sort of settled in like the, uh, the 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 town and in the where I live itself you know as things gradually start reopening again um with a uh, lockdown sort of being gradually released I'll be able to start going visiting places around meeting people that sort of thing um so there's a there's a long way to go in that respect but um, we're starting to um we're starting to feel a bit more normal I guess um but uh, that is what it is um, don't want to spend too long talking about that, however. We have, of course, got plenty of video game stuff to talk about. And, um, well, there's been plenty of news going on, as well as what's going on for the channel. It has been a couple of days or so since I last updated um, and had, like, a proper video up. Uh, we did finish Resident Evil 3 Inferno, eventually. That was um, an experience. I didn't expect it to take as long as it did for the final boss, but uh, it was a... Um, it was an exercise in patience as much as anything else, and uh, while I still will say that I'm not a fan particularly of um, how Inferno Mode works, at least we did it, folks, and we proved a point. So I'm, I'm glad to have been able to have at least achieve that, and thanks to everyone who uh, supported me in deciding to have a second go of it. So I'm, I guess ultimately I'm glad that I did, but Jesus H, it was not a pleasant journey at times. Not fun at all, but that is what it is. Um, so... Resident Evil 3 is now over. It, it's done. Uh, we've done the campaign. Um, I'm still playing Resistance, obviously multiplayer on Sundays on Twitch, and still looking to get videos of that uploaded onto the channel. Um, but I suppose the question now is, well, what now? Um, it's you know we're coming into June, um, and I haven't really talked too much about what I actually intend to do series-wise. Um, rest assured, I have got plans for pretty much the rest of the year now of what I'm looking to do. Um, and as I did mention in the last video of these, I did, um, I'm really looking to delve into a game that is technically about two years overdue. Um, so if we go to the PC screen, which is this page here, and, uh, I'm sure I've probably put it into the title of the video, so it's not too much of a secret, but we are going to finally be making our return back to the Grand Theft Auto series, folks. Um, I did a little route through the channel. And I couldn't believe the last time we've actually done Grand Theft Auto on the channel uh, was the series they did on GTA Vice City Stories. This was back in the summer and autumn of 2017, nearly three years ago was the last time I did GTA on the channel, which seems crazy. Like, I didn't realize it had been that long at all, um, and is kind of... Uh, Kind of crazy, um, given the fact that we've done loads of GTA on, on the channel over the course of time, so um, yeah. A bit disappointed by myself that it has been so long, and I can only apologise for that. So, um, as regards to what we are going to be playing, this may please some, this may not please others, but um, I think it should be a fascinating journey nonetheless. I did indeed go on to Steam and went and bought myself Grand Theft Auto 4, plus the episodes of Liberty City, folks. Um, now, GA4 was a very ambitious title when it came out sort of like 10, 12 years ago. You know, the, the beginning of the HD era, I think, as it's uh, sort of officially known as. And it can definitely be debated whether it was a success or not. Um, it certainly had a uh, some issues. Um, and, uh, I think it's actually surprisingly similar to GTA 3 in some ways. Now that I've played through a lot of the games of the series, you know, it's, it was the first game of its era, um, you know, it, it, it was something completely different at the time. There's always going to be certain aspects of it that did and didn't work. Um, there you could definitely argue whether the, the story of the game makes sense, whether, uh, you know, the idea of sort of Nico and sort of being, you know, trying to do the best for those around him, yet... 
you know, can easily be a murderous psychopath down the streets as a complete contradiction or not, because they tried to give him a moral compass when none of the other protagonists before him really had one. Um, but regardless, I I hold GTA 4 in a probably a higher regard than I think some other people do. I think the main game itself was actually not too bad, assuming that you were able to blot out all of the damn trips to the bowling alley. Um, I'll also look and be doing both the, the uh, Lost and Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony episodes as well, which I have probably a lot less knowledge of than the actual main game. The main game I went through at least once, possibly. I think I did it a second time. Um, I only ever played the side stories uh, the once through, and I didn't really delve into too much other than that either. So um, it'll be an interesting to do that, and uh, I think this should fit a pretty nice gap between now and... And going into uh, towards the Halloween season, where of course we do our uh, sort of our own thing on the channel for a month, um, and then I have got plans of what I intend to do after that as well. Uh, speaking of that, actually, we should probably go to the calendar. Uh, this is what it's going to look like for the next week or a half or so, and just give a rough idea of where things are going to stand for the next couple of weeks. Um, so, uh, GA4 is going to be beginning on the channel on June the 1st. Uh, the plan is I'm going to be uploading Monday to Saturday a video, and then Saturdays I'll be keeping free. Um, the RTK series with um, Alonzo as well is still continuing on. Um, we've just gone through a... Uh, a pretty horrendous point where my uh, my sovereign lord died in combat to the uh, the bastard that is Marchow, um, and now the reign of Yoko Z will have to will have to uh, succeed him across China. Weird, weird things have happened, and it's put me in a really dicey spot. Uh, that'll be continuing back on on Friday. We did do some recording of that last week, but uh, I haven't got around to doing the editing for that yet. I have got absolutely tons of video editing. To do at the moment, folks. So that is kind of being a bit of an issue. Um, but uh, I'm kind of getting through it as and where we go. Uh, the uh, backlog uploads, there isn't too much left of these as well. Uh, there's only two parts left for Claire B's RE2 stream uh, that we did about a month or so ago. Um, and then that's everything done from the backlog, apart from the Resistance game highlights, which will be con continuing on from next week. Um, also, I'm looking to put together as well, and have put together actually, which is this one over here, um, is related to a stream we, we did last Friday. So, after playing uh, Among Us for a couple of hours on stream, there was a suggestion that was made that we look to delve into the Jackbox Party games. Um, these were games that uh, some of you may be aware of, um, but I'd never actually played before myself. I'd never really delved into them. Um, but we had some folks that had played them before and thought it would be a really cool thing to do. You know, we're trying to do it as like the sort of the social stream, a lot more chilled and relaxed as opposed to like the more serious stuff that we sometimes do on the channel. Um, we ended up getting hold of two sets of games actually for it. Uh, Jackpox Parties 3 and 6 here um, to play uh, Quiplash. Uh, we played Trivia Murder Party. And one of the things we also played was Push the Button, which is another social deception sort of game. Sort of has some similarities to Among Us, um, but uh, I think possibly has more to it. I think it depends on one's taste. Anyways, um, I have edited and put together uh, the entire two hours that we did play on Push the Button, um, which will be going live tomorrow. Um, that is all here. I've just got to finish doing some editing for that, and then that will be ready to rock and roll. Um, but yes, um, on top of that as well... Uh, we've actually decided that we are going to make some more returns to Jackbox Party. A lot of people that were there for the stream really, really enjoyed it. And to be honest, it was one of the biggest laughs that I've had for quite some time. Um, and so uh, for the next couple of Fridays, at least, we're going to be returning to Jackbox Party from 7 p.m. over on Twitch. With an added bonus, however, of this Friday. And you may have noticed this. So a few folks that I've known, uh, sort of Pistol P, Alonzo, uh, I think a couple of others as well, uh, have been messing around and playing around with uh, tier lists and stuff and bits and pieces. And of course, several people have said, why don't I do a tier list um, for uh, Resident Evil games now that I've played almost every game in the series? And I thought, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. So uh, the Friday stream is going to kick off an hour early. And uh, I am going to be embarking upon my own personal list um, ranking every single one of these Resident Evil games uh, that have been made. Obviously, some of them I've not played, so I won't be able to give a proper rank, but we can still give sort of perspective ones, and I do invite everyone to come along for the journey um, to uh, try and see my thought process and, uh, hell, even have your own opinions on what you think. I might be talking a load of rubbish. Um, spoiler, folks, that might be going there. Just, just throwing that one out there. 
Um, so we're going to do that an hour early on Resin, um, an hour early on this Friday, which should be a lot of fun. Um, Another thing should be noted as well here, obviously still continuing our weekly resistance streams on Sundays, and I'm hoping to get together a tabletop simulator stream uh, 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Um, I haven't decided exactly what we're going to be playing yet. Uh, it is dependent on numbers, but it'd be nice to get something like that together. I think it would be a nice uh, sort of way to just kind of uh, to kind of chill out on the Tuesday. Um, but that's pretty much everything here, and this is going to be largely when we will be going forward, sort of time-wise, apart from maybe that for the next few weeks or so. Uh, the one addition that we'll be looking to made is seeing as GTA 4 is, you know, in tone, kind of a more sort of serious game, although it's still a GTA game. Um, and as far as RTK is concerned, I think those that are going to watch RTK are watching it, and those that aren't interested in a game like RTK are not watching it. So I'm going to be looking to put together um, and uh, do a side series in the next couple of weeks or so um, to go along with GTA 4. Um, I haven't fully decided when we're playing it, but I'm fairly sure I know when we're playing it. I just need to get a working copy of it um, to work. Um, and uh, I think we'll have some fun there. But I'm looking to do a couple of side series between now and Halloween to help complement GTA 4. So we'll see how that goes. One last thing that I will make a mention of before we wrap this video up here. Uh, speaking of tabletop, actually, is those remember a couple of weeks ago, uh, one of the games that we did for my test streams from when I first got it to kind of see how the internet was going to work was a game called Nemesis, which is effectively a, a, a board game that's got lots of sort of like alien sci-fi vibes. It is a tribute, realistically, um, to that whole genre. Um, and that was created by Wake and Realms. Uh, there is a version of that available actually on Tabletop Simulator. Well, it has been brought to my attention that there is actually um, a Kickstarter about to be launched for um, a, a expansion to it uh, called Lockdown, which I am very, very interested in getting involved with, folks. Uh, this doesn't really matter probably to anyone particularly listening, um, but just to raise awareness for it. Um, it's a really, really cool game. Uh, I'm going to be looking to probably play this on the Tuesday stream, the actual base game. Um, and uh, yes, this Kickstarter is looking to get crack on in a week, um, very, very shortly. And um, I'm very interested in actually getting hold of a physical copy of the game. Um, I've been talking with a lot of folks in um, in the Discord, I should say, um, about, you know, perhaps one day actually, you know, doing something like this physically, which would be really awesome. It should be noted that the estimated deliveries for this are 2021, but the principle is still there. It may also even be something that I might do further on down the line, that I might decide, you know, with stuff like this, I might find a way to actually, like, do these, you know, either in person or, like, you know, in a way so they can be interacted with online and actually broadcast it, you know, as part of streams, you know, instead of doing a tabletop version, um, do the physical version, like, in front of me and basically GMing it for people. You know, I haven't really decided yet, but uh, it's nice to think about these things and the options are there and, you know, I've got a, a nice canvas to work with here in uh, my new home as well. So uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see what comes of that. So that's pretty much it for the video. So thank you for listening. Um, I have updated the Twitch channel um, for its uh, its new times here. And this, of course, it will be updated as and when I add dates to it. Um, but still looking to do, you know, realistically a couple of streams a week, um, which I think is uh, fairly reasonable. Um, as always, if you want to do get in contact with me with questions about the channel or anything you so like, then you can do so in the uh, comments section below. Um, you can, of course, as well look to contact me and the Twitter sphere at BlackShow993, where you can uh, ask me bits and pieces of questions, share with me pertinent information. I mean, look, folks, this shit's important, you know. This shit is very, very important. <laughs> Um, as well as uh, notification when I go live on streams um, and various bits and pieces and uploads for when videos go live, assuming that the YouTube maker doesn't work, which sometimes it decides not to. It's a thing that still bugs me. If you do wish to... Con um if you do wish to help with the channel in a more monetary fashion, then there's, of course, the Patreon for the channel um, at uh, slash blackshadow 9 freeze Link for that in the video, video description below. Um, I do need to go through this a little bit, actually. Um, there is about to be, in some regions in the world, a sort of sales tax that can be applied, so I need to kind of go through this and do some updating. I've got a pretty big to-do list over the rest of this week, folks, um, so I will get this done sort of ASAP. We'll see how things go in regards to that. Um, and of course, if you do wish to um, get involved with the uh, the community at large, then we always do have 
the ever dependable beer sync server over on discord again link for that in the description below as well um where you can you know shoot the shit um you can have a look down our latest releases thread so you can keep track of when stuff goes live as well that way um we've got our guide for setting up uh the entire of resident evil outbreak of course i did a a uh, a video for that um not too long ago in order to get that improved which is somewhere on the list um, we've got game with thread specific games. We've got our scheduling so people can organize their own gaming sessions with other people around. Um, and yes, yes, of course, folks. Unfortunately, I am now contractually obliged to sample at least two dad jokes per proper update video, lest uh, the company be fined a significant amount of money. So, uh, uh if I could ever spell it, that would also help. What have we got today? God damn it. I... I... Maybe I should just take the fine. Yeah. Maybe I should just take the fine. So thank you much for listening, everyone. Hope you'll uh, enjoy the rest of your weeks. Um, like I say, if I don't catch you before, I hope to see a lot of you folks um, around for the beginning of uh, GTA 4. Um, it's going to be much like when I did um, Resident Evil 6. In that I know it ha historically it's not been one of the best received games in the world. But I think in a way that makes it more fascinating to look back on. Especially you think now GTA 5 is like seven years old in itself. And, um, you know... I'm sure there could be plenty of arguments made. Uh, why do you want to play GA4? GA5 exists. It's superior in every way. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe you're uh, misremembering some bits and pieces. You'll uh, have to see about that. But uh, regardless, folks, um, I'm looking forward to getting involved in this. It should be a good, good series. So uh hope you'll all be okay in this crazy, crazy world as things do start hopefully coming out of, um, you know, the social distancing and lockdown measures they're in. But please, for the love of God, people, please stay safe. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Sure, I'll see you soon.